kindly subscribe and if you're old or you have been with us kindly like the video and share so today we have come back to learn more and uh, we're going to be showing you how we turn cassava like the dry cassava into food last time we posted on how we preserve cassava uh, uh how we dry it and preserve it and all that so we are following up some people requested that we show them how the cassava is grinded and turned into food so that's what we are going to be taking you through today step by step thank you so i have here my 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 stuff which i'm going to use the dried cassava is here like you remember last time we dried our cassava and kept it so it's here and we are going to be using our mortar then this one it's what we are going to use to pound yeah? you see it looks like a human hand yeah? then uh, we shall also use this to sieve the, cassava, the flour which we shall have got yeah? so let's start uh, you first get your cassava and you put it in the mortar don't put a lot depending on your on the size of your motor but our motor is small so i'm going to be putting small then i pound and sieve let's start pounding you hit with a lot of energy to make the flour but as you're hitting you be careful so that it's not moving out So you continue hitting as you see it's turning you hit until when you feel like it's smooth eh? maybe you bring the camera close so that you show them here show them in the motor So you keep on adding You can pound as much as you can depending on your family the size of your family or the meal you want to prepare We know we can use cassava flour for many things. We can use it to make food balo. We can use it to make uh, porridge. It is very good for the little ones. Then you can also use it to make pancakes. Yeah, if you want to learn how to prepare all those, kindly follow. You'll be mixing so that uh, the one you have pounded, uh, you know, it. Uh, some some cassavas, some cassava can get stuck down. Eh? But when you mix, the one which is not yet pounded, well, it comes back up, and the flour goes down. You continue pounding. I know some of you are already asking why do I get such a motor? You can find them in all African markets, by the way. You can find them there. You see our flour now? So at this point, we are going to sieve our flour so that uh, we remove these big particles and we leave the flour which shall be cooked. So that's when we shall need our our KK. Yeah. I don't <laughs> that's when we are going to use our KK. Yeah? So what you do, you get a saucepan, now like me, this is why I keep my flour, you put it on top. Then you get your pounded cassava. Pour in. Pour in. So, after pour 
carrying in, you hold it like this from the sides. Mm? So you start sieving. You can see that the flour is going down and the one which is not pounded is remaining up. The flour goes down and the one which is not pounded remains up. have made for now you continue pounding until when you make what's enough for your family so now we are done pounding and this this is our flour and you show them this is our flour and now the next part we are going to preparing it just like i said you can use it to prepare main things you can use it to prepare kalo you can use it to prepare porridge you can use it to prepare uh pancakes but I, for today we are going to prepare kalo yeah so it's almost time for lunch so we are going to prepare kalo uh kindly follow so now we have seen uh, uh, how we turn the cassava into flour. So we are, here, we are here in the kitchen and we are going to make our fire so that we can go ahead the process of preparing it and turning it into kalo. Uh, for us, uh, cooked cassava is called kalo. I don't know how it's called in your language, but uh, let's go to work. First, arrange your firewood. So after lighting your fire, let it burn until when the firewood gets uh, fire. Then you put water. So as the fire is getting ready, we'll be preparing our chikalaya. Use the knife to remove these ones. Don't remove all. Don't remove. Mm 
So now we are going to put our water so that uh, we can prepare our kalo. And here is our color yeah, we are going to use. So it's leaking, and I'll first put it on fire to cover up the leakages. Don't put flour, please. I'm just putting to cover leakages. Some leakages here, some holes. So after covering them, we are going to put our water. Mm. Water can get ready very fast. So we can be waiting for our water to get ready, then we shall start to mingle. So now our water is ready. I don't know if you can see it. Just a piece of fish. Our water is ready and remember we have our flour. So it's also ready. So when the water starts boiling, um, you wait for it to boil well eh? so that you don't prepare. Raw kalo. This is our mingling stick, what we are going to use to mingle. So I'm going to add flour. You first add, you don't add a lot and you first mingle. As you can see, it's starting to form. Eh? You add more flour until to until you feel that it has become hard, eh? but not very hard. Let's add more flour. So, our hello is ready, and we are going to keep it there, Takai.
We are going to keep it here. Our color is now ready. Take off and kill a hole. So our color is ready, as you can see, <laughs> ready for eating. <laughs>